Hey, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. It's your girl, Naya Nicole. In today's topic is five popular trans theories put to bed. Whether you think all trans have a penis, we trick you into having sex with us, or to be trans is a choice, stick around for the answer to this and more. All right, so let's get into it. All male born transgender women have a penis. That is far from a fact. According to an online article that I read, five to 13% of trans do get bottom surgery, which ends up with you know, a vagina, meaning that not everyone has a penis. Do you know why most do have one? Well, surgery above all is very, very expensive. And depending on the surgeon and person getting surgery, there can be some really awful complications. That is why a lot of trans women just opt out to have their testicles removed instead of getting the whole surgery because that actually helps with tucking. It helps by your body not producing any more testosterone. So that's what they opt out to. Sex reassignment surgery should never be taken lightly. I believe that only adults should have the choice to get SRS. SRS should just never be done on a child. I think that's something that an adult should consider very, very, very much because at the end of the day, it is irreversible. You cannot go back to what you had before. I think SRS is one of those things that as far as children go, and I've seen a lot of videos online that have been circulating. They say if a kid has gynecomastia and all of this stuff, like why would you allow a kid that has that to, that doesn't want boobs to like get the surgeries and like all these other surgeries that may seem like it can compare to SRS. I myself had the surgery 12 years ago. I know that's a long time. <laughs> I've never had a complication, any revisions or regrets. Thanks to Dr. Chetawet. If he's still practicing, girls, get your SRS from Dr. Chetawet in Thailand. Bangkok. <laughs> So let's move on to number two. Transgender women want to trick men into having sex with us. I hate this. Like, what is, what is this? What is with this? this like, why? Really, guys? I think I can speak for most of us. Dolls, y'all let me know. But our goal in our transition is not to spend all this work, time, money, dedication, to trick men into having sex with us. If you live in the modern world, I mean, it's easy to see why a lot of men are attracted to us. Makeup is always on point. Our body is always right. Just think when a guy gets caught, you know that he will just turn around and say that we tricked him out of maybe embarrassment and he doesn't want to get judged. I've never had any guy turn around and be like, oh my God, I can't believe you didn't tell me you were trans. By the way, according to the comments on my videos, uh, you can tell a girl is trans. So where is the trickery? Get to know your partners, people. Number three, transgenders need to tell everyone that they are trans. <sighs> I hate this. Like really, if you don't want to date or have sex or even be friends with a trans girl, every girl that you meet, make sure to ask if she's trans then and tell her your stance on trans women. I personally had a guy tell me his stance while texting and I never went on a date with him. I also have had someone speak negatively of trans women around me, not knowing that I was trans and I just distanced myself from them without letting them know why. I think it is your responsibility to get to know someone before going on a date with them. If it bothers you that much to go on a date with a trans person, then you know, speak up. Number four, transgender is a choice. Just like someone is born gay, we are born trans. The difference between gays and lesbians and trans is the one is sexual orientation and the other is not. Someone that is born trans have gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria is much stronger in some more than others. That is why some people transition earlier rather than later or end their lives because the feeling is so strong that they are bullied or pushed into depression. While I agree that transition is a choice, being transgender is not. 
Understanding the deep feeling someone has that they are not their biological sex is absolutely harder for someone to understand who has never dealt with anyone that is part of the LGBTQ plus community. If you are one of those people, try to be understanding rather than negate someone for what they are simply because you don't understand. Number five, if you have an Adam's apple, you are a man. Like this? I mean, I don't have one. Like this? Like this? Yeah, I think the I can see your Adam's apple joke slash comments aren't funny. And well, as y'all can see, just because she has an Adam's apple doesn't mean she's a man. And just because she doesn't have one doesn't mean that she's not. Or just because she doesn't have one doesn't mean that she's trans or not. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about it. Is there any other crazy myths that you've heard of? Let me know in the comments. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.